When we think of some leisurely activities, we often think about traveling to mountains, beaches, forests, etc, etc. But do you know that a new dimension has been added to this, which is the space? Yes, you heard that right. Space tourism is the newest form of tourism basically for people who want an out of the world experience. So those visits to space which were earlier limited to scientific discoveries have now become a new marketplace for people. So whether this space tourism is relevant or not is what we are going to debate about on this edition of School of Thought. So we have with us today two groups of students. One who call themselves light years ahead believe that space tourism is a bold adventure and is relevant enough and the others called the cosmic watchdogs who find no relevance of space tourism and call it an irresponsible extravagance. So I request the team light years ahead to open this debate. Space tourism, the ability to draw some finest minds into the space. The instinct to explore is the right of human. And some of our most amazing achievements has taken place in space. The development of technology such as miniaturization have led to the development of microchips. So what is your opinion on this? So while exploration in space definitely leads to an advancement in technology, but in order to get to that level of advancement, is it really necessary for us to indulge in this irresponsible extravagance that is space tourism? Because as we all know that space tourism, while it can be a great activity for some, however, it has very serious environmental hazards associated with it. Taking examples from the real life existing companies, there are certain maverick companies like SpaceX or Blue Origin. They are focusing on innovating new technologies and ideas which are cost uh, effective and also they are more sustainable. Now, talking about the environmental damage, there are certain fuels which are sustainable. Like the uh, Virgin Galactic Company has recently innovated a renewable fuel which is HTPV. Right? In 2019, NASA's GIPCM mission, it focused on innovating fuels which are uh, high performance giving and also less, uh, less uh, environment damage givers. Uh, at the same time, I believe there could also be innovations of reusable spacecrafts. Uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 is a spacecraft which is a zero carbon neutral emission spacecraft. So if we focus on uh, taking uh, help from energies which are more renewable like uh, rockets which are based on solar energy uh, we can uh, reduce the environmental impact uh, one thing i would like to share here is uh, you are talking about the fuels that are uh, less uh, uh, damaging to less the damaging to the environment but the focus is not about going to the space it's about the manufacturing of the spaceship as well because the manufacturing process, a lot of pollutants are released into the air. So what are your thoughts about that? Uh, well, I would want you to not think of it as an exploitation. Think of it as an investment for the future, right? Uh, had we not uh, worked in the field of internet 50 years back, we would not have been able to come where we are. So basically, we were using resources so that in the future, we don't have such type of problems. Uh, so, we are already suffering from environmental issues. Uh, abhi recently, Yamna flood also occurred because of uh, the damage we have done. While you just said about the, uh, when we did the internet and the manufacture, so when we have already so damage, hai, why to increase it? Let's first work on decreasing it. Hmm. The thing is, if we talk about decreasing the damage, abhi dekho, the space industry is in a very nascent stage. So your concern hai of resources ka exploitation and you know creating damage is not an immediate concern. Nahi hai. What I would suggest is that uh, jo all, already, causing, uh, already pollution causing industries hai, unko thoda restrict karte hai, unka jo enforcement hai laws ka usko better karte hai, rather than you know restricting aage ke innovative experiences. What's it? 
Uh, well, that's true, and it's obviously a good attempt to uh, try some sustainable practices when it comes to sustainable tourism. But, however, like let's bring into the picture the other global pressing issues that we have. Why not put those resources over there instead of uh, start, uh, you know, like indulging in tourism from now on? And we already have space exploration programs which are there for the innovation part. So, tourism is more of like a leisure activity, I would say. And I'd like to add the point that we already have caused a major amount of damage to the environment. So I don't think we can afford to damage it even further. Might be it might be that space tourism may cause damage in the further in the future. But it is also true that if we don't stop it today, we won't be stop it tomorrow. We won't be able to stop it tomorrow as well. But won't, don't you think that stopping it today is equivalent to stopping the kind of development and the kind of endless possibilities the space and the universe holds? In my opinion, space exploration is the answer to your point. Space exploration is meant for development, not space tourism. The space. thing is, uh, I, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. uh, the thing is, Space tourism is not just people wearing floral shirts and going to enjoy. Leisure is a part, is a major part, but leisure is not the only part of space tourism. Mm -hmm. Space tourism also carries minds who are passionate and enthusiastic about this space to go and delve deeper, you know, watch it closely. Like Earth go, you're watching through or from the space. And it's not just watching, you're, you might notice something. You might mm -hmm. actually be of help to the researchers there. You're not what just will a happen then? How will be the help for researchers? I mean, how are they going to help researchers? Please uh, elaborate on that. The thing being, ma'am, you are not going there as novice people. You have certain amount of uh, training, basic training that goes into, uh, you know, taking you to the program. You, more than an asset, are in a, a place, a la no, no, more than a liability are an asset mm -hmm. to the program in itself but that because training but that training is used to allow you to uh, assimilate and acclimate to that environment that is in space right that is not supposed to teach you how to point out things that can help in scientific research exactly scientists are going there for that matter only so why do we need common people to go there what's the need the thing is man, human resource i believe is like the most important and the best resource yeah. and uh, you know curiosity uh, is a driving factor which is much more than I don't know pay skill of uh, you know I, I believe somebody who's curious mm -hmm. and somebody is good at something somebody is curious would do a much better job than somebody who's just good at it right but That's, don't you think that uh, we have more pressing issues on earth currently right now than we are going to space tourism for example if a child is in the evening और मतलब वो आ, सोचती है आसमान के बारे में कि क्या क्या चल रहा है और तभी एक हवा का झोंका आता है वो खास में लगती है वो घूम के देखती है तो देखती है कि कई मील दूर एक स्पेस रॉकेट जा रहा है जो लोगों को यहां से अंतरिक्ष घुमाने ले जा रहा है अब यहां पर कुछ सवाल आते हैं जैसे क्या अंतरिक्ष पर्यटन संसाधनों को पृथ्वी की अधिक महत्वपूर्ण आवश्यकताओं से हटा देता है क्या हमारा ये पहला कर्तव्य नहीं बनता कि धरती पे जो लोग हैं उनका हम जीना बेटर करें जैसे हम फंड्स को जो फंड्स हम लगा रहे हैं स्पेस टूरिज्म में जाने के लिए अगर हम उसकी जगह सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स अचीव करने में लगा जैसे पॉवर्टी है जेंडर इनइक्वालिटी है और एजुकेशन इतना कम है अगर हम इसको इस जगह चैनल करते हैं तो इस जगह चैनल करते हैं तो हमें बहुत ज्यादा फायदा हो सकता है जैसे एंड इंडिया अलोन 3% ऑफ द फंड इज यूज्ड फॉर स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड 0.35% इज यूज्ड फॉर पॉवर्टी और इंडिया की पॉपुलेशन वर्ल्ड में सबसे ज्यादा है तो हमारा ये मेरे हिसाब से पहला कंसर्न ये होना चाहिए कि यहां के जो लोग हैं हम उनका लाइफ बेटर करें रादर देन हम किसी लीजर लेजर एक्टिविटी के लिए या फिर कोई ब्रॉडर व्यू अचीव करने के लिए स्पेस में जाए लेट्स जस्ट से कि आप स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन की बात करो आप उसको एज इंडस्ट्री देखो अभी वो इतना छोटा है कि द अमाउंट ऑफ जॉब्स क्रिएशन इतना नहीं है अगर वो इंडस्ट्री एक्सपैंड करती है तो इनडायरेक्टली आपको नहीं लगता मोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट होगा व्हिच विल लीड टू लेस पॉवर्टी मोर जॉब एम्प्लॉयमेंट जेंडर इक्वालिटी के जो आपके सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स है वो काइंड ऑफ अचीव होंगे व्हाट बट यू आर काउंटरिंग हिम विद द पॉइंट ऑफ स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन दे आर हियर एंड स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन इज ऑलरेडी हैपनिंग एंड दे आर इन फेवर ऑफ इट इट इज हैपनिंग थ्रू साइंटिस्ट एंड एवरीवन बट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पेस टूरिज्म 
so how is that relevant and you know what is the need of the hour in that scenario hmm. we view as an industry hmm. view it as an industry to job creation hoga employment hoga poverty kam hogi hmm. right hmm. Uh, more women are going to be employed to gender equality ke sustainable development goals aapke achieve honge and think of it as an inspiration ma'am hmm. uh the people like i am a space enthusiast hmm. mere jaise kitne log honge jinko pata hi nahi hoga kya kya possibilities hain to agar hum उनको एक डिफरेंट लेंस और पर्सपेक्टिव से दिखाते तो डोंट यू थिंक मोर पीपल विल बी इंटरेस्टेड इन करियर रिलेटेड टू स्टेम तो क्वालिटी एजुकेशन नहीं आ गया अवे रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम अ फील्ड दैट नीड्स इट मोर देन स्पेस टूरिज्म और एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी में भी जो लोग ये इंडस्ट्री में काम करेंगे उनके लिए बहुत हाई एजुकेशन चाहिए होगी और एजुकेशन तो पहले ही नहीं है तो एजुकेशन जब तक नहीं आएगी गुड पॉइंट इन प्राइमरी इश्यूज पर एंड आल्सो हम सबको पता है कि टूरिस्ट का बिहेवियर क्या होता है क्या हम उन्हें वहां पे भेज रहे हैं क्या रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है कि वो स्पेस को एक्सप्लॉयट नहीं करेंगे सो योर टेक ऑन ऑल थ्री पॉइंट्स आई वांट वन बाय वन सो आई लाइक टू टैकल टूरिस्ट वाला फर्स्ट यू आर नॉट स्पेस टूरिस्ट आर नॉट जस्ट टूरिस्ट आप उनको एक पहले यू नो यू आर गिविंग देम अ सेट ऑफ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस दे हैव टू फॉलो दे आर रिस्पांसिबल इंडिविजुअल्स talking about uh, resources right resources mm-hmm. was your point yeah aap uh, you were not snatching away anything from anyone aap ye dekho ki space tourism mein aap you are you are countering saying ki resources nahi hai yaar resources to mining industry ke liye bhi nahi hai usko kam kar lo pollution jo chemicals you know you are releasing it in the rivers usko kam kar lo this is an innovative thing you should be skeptical about it i am not saying mm-hmm. but ये कहना कि इट इज जस्ट नॉट जस्टिफाइबल एंड जस्ट अननेसेसरी एक्सट्रावेगेंस आई डोंट थिंक बट 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 यू सेड दैट दिस जनरेट्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट राइट बट हाउ डज दैट एम्प्लॉयमेंट जस्टिफाई द यूजर ऑफ द लैंड दैट हैज बीन यूज्ड फॉर लॉन्च पैड्स लाइक व्हाट इफ वी यूज दैट लैंड टू सेट अप इंडस्ट्रीज हुज प्रोज एंड कॉन्स एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिगर्ड आउट एंड वी डोंट हैव दैट मेनी डाउट्स अबाउट इट एंड वी आर नॉट अनक्लियर ऑन दैट how how about we use that land for those industries in, instead of such a sunrise industry you know what i mean for example if government is taking that land so government will provide schemes but if they are private organization they may exploit the people who are owning that land right that is one of the uh, what do i say that is one of the suggestions we have jaise ek industry becomes upcoming na to government ka interference aata hai har cheez mein we're talking about subsidizing uh, the space missions and everything that's what we we will tackle about that and you are equating land to employment agar imagine karo ki wo land barren hi hai उसका एग्रीकल्चरल कोई यूज नहीं है वहां पे लॉन्च पैड बना हुआ है जो ऑलरेडी बने हुए लॉन्च पैड है उनका फ्रीक मोर फ्रीक्वेंट यूज हो रहा है राधर देन क्रिएटिंग मोर तो वो डेफिनेटली वी कैन डिस्कस एंड कम टू कॉमन ग्राउंड अबाउट इट बट सेइंग कि वो यू नो इट्स अ थ्रेट टू एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल आई ओके लैंड एक्विजिशन इज वन पार्ट ऑफ इट बट एजुकेशन ही मेड अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट हियर अबाउट एजुकेशन आई वुड लाइक यू टू रिपीट योरसेल्फ अगेन ऑन दैट एंड देन आई वांट योर टेक ऑन दैट प्लीज you said that edu- uh, that employment if employment is employment will be created because if space tourism is expanded but in order to work in a in such a big company hmm. like spacex or blue origin isro and nasa mein jaane ke liye itni education chahiye hoti hai ki iit pass right. karne ke baad bhi logo ko naukri nahi mil rahi hai aur india mein jitne itni zyada below poverty line mein log hai education mein itni education hi nahi hai तो अगर एजुकेशन ही नहीं है तो वो उधर बड़ी बड़ी कंपनीज में काम कैसे करेंगे वॉट ई मीन्स इज दैट पीपल आर नॉट फुली अवेयर अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्पेस टूरिज्म मतलब टूरिज्म फॉर दैट मैटर नॉट इज नॉट अवेलेबल टू एवरी वन okay because of the economic situation financial background and everything but when it comes to space tourism people are not that informed they are not well educated they are not you know it's out of their bounds out of their reach it's a thing for the higher society only then how is it a need of the hour and you know how are you talking about country developing because of that we're not in the point ma'am yes. because when vikram sarabhai right. dr homi jay bhaba and hmm. dr apj abdul kalam hmm. they initiated the indian space program they they were very enthusiastic about all this place space exploration and all the possibilities the future generation could come up with and this is the possibility we are coming up with 
I'm But, not saying man that this is the need of the hour. Hmm. We are talking about it as a bold adventure. Okay. Sure. And hmm. right. So since space tourism is in its initial stages, जब hmm. तक हम उस चीज को expand नहीं करेंगे, तब तक उसका awareness नहीं आ पाएगा. Influence बढ़ेगा ही नहीं. Right. Once the space tourism uh, area will increase, uh, hmm. it will expand. It will empower the new generation for coming up towards the area of STEM, hmm. and it will make new innovation and new innovative workforce in our society that may help expand this. Uh, area more better. That the space exploration That can also space do. Space exploration, right? How space, space tourism? tourism uh, space tourism is. I think it is a very yeah. simple logic. Hmm. Space tourism को आगे तो बढ़ने दो, थोड़ा तो develop करने दो. It is really in its initial stage. अभी it is nowhere. Hmm. We are. It's very good that we are talking about the cons and pros. But उसे let it boost up थोड़ा सा. तभी वी कैन टॉक अबाउट तभी सेल्फ अवेयरनेस आएगी एंड तभी द पॉइंट दैट यू स्पोक अबाउट कि एजुकेशन नहीं है एजुकेशन तब होगी ना जब लोगों को पता चलेगा कि दिस इज व्हाट इट इज एंड वी हैव टू कंट्रीब्यूट उसमें तभी होगा लाइक इट इज सेड बाय मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आल्सो फॉर एग्जांपल साइंस यू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेड दैट स्पेस टूरिज्म इज नॉट अ वेस्ट ऑफ मनी इट इज जस्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग इट इज टू गिव अपॉर्चुनिटीज इनोवेशन क्रिएटिविटी Okay, great. And also, no one is going without risk mitigation procedures, right? Hmm. So we have all the risk mitigation procedures which will be controlled. It's virgin galactic. You, we all know about the 2014 crash. I don't think that we can ever forget it. So what if something like that disastrous thing happens? How would you justify that? And like just yes. like Tanushi said, so we are ready to risk precious human life just to try. We are ready Alex. to risk and everyone's. As you so said, the people, 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 people are already in our lives. The people who are going above, they have given their consent. They want to see what is above in the space. Wouldn't a scientist going to space hmm. be very much different and yeah. more beneficial for us than when a human being normal? Let human me being. let me suggest something now. For every spaceship uh, that goes for tourism, usme agar ham number of scientists bard jaye because dekho. Uh, It is directly proportional to the kind of interest you're creating in the society. आगे आने वाले टाइम में there will be more children who want to become scientists. तो हर एक tourist वाले spaceship के साथ you include scientists. उनको research के लिए encourage करो. Why not? No one's saying no, right? अब initially उसको start तो करें दो. अभी आपके पास scientists नहीं हैं who are willing to go to the space. अब आप उन्हें एक initial exposure दे रहे हो. The ones who can afford it. उन्हें आप दे रहे हो. वो आगे जाके they'll they'll talk about it. PR करेंगे. And then you know there will be people who want to come up as scientists and then go research about it a step ahead right and even when you were talking about ki hum scientists ko per space pe bheje the agar sare scientists space mein chale gaye to yahan pe jo exploration hogi wo kaun karega like industry or like archaeologists will research here archaeologists and alag alag industry scientists ka to main kaam upar ka hi hai na to wo wo sambhalne ke yahan pe to aur main for that yahan pe alag alag jobs hai yahan pe history ke liye hamare paas archaeology sab ka apna alag alag department hai ऊपर जाने का पर अगर कोई सच्ची पैशनेट है उसने अच्छे से पढ़ाई करी है उसने सब करा है चांसेस लाइक ये एक्सेप्शनली केस है वो तो बनेगा ही साइंटिस्ट जिसने जिसको पूरी नॉलेज है जिसने इतना पढ़ा है वो क्यों नहीं बनेगा आई वांट टू नो फ्रॉम यू स्पीकिंग ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी लाइक शी सेड एंड यू गाइस आर मेकिंग अ पॉइंट दैट इट क्रिएट्स आई मीन इट जनरेट्स क्यूरियोसिटी राइट आई थिंक क्यूरियोसिटी कम्स फॉर थिंग्स व्हिच आर लाइक नॉन अचीवेबल और अनरीचेबल यू नो लाइक देन ओनली बिकॉज़ यू नो नथिंग अबाउट थिंग्स सो देन यू आर वेरी क्यूरियस ऑफ व्हाट इज व्हाट इट इज But with the space tourism, you're going to, you know, land everyone up in the space, and then there will be no curiosity. So it is killing curiosity, not generating it. I believe. But I think uh, if we start with this area, uh, right. like people will have first will have curiosity, will they will explore, they spread their ideas about the space, and that will help increase other or uh, get knowledge about what. When everyone will land up there. Then how you will everyone land, land up there under your star that's what i'm saying ki common people that's the practice no space tourism is for common people to land up there and explore the space right so when you're going to make hap- this happen then curiosity is killed curiosity is not killed my curiosity leads to interest interest leads to you know you wanting to go work in that field that is not killing curiosity okay. you inspiring other okay, people to do fine. that inspiring to then work in that exactly. industry exactly fine yeah, your take on that to inspiration so as compared to someone getting inspired by going into the space or we getting inspired from the space tourist 
इधर ले रहा मोर ब्रॉडर स्केल्ड और इंस्पिरेशन टू द मास इज रादर बींग प्रोवाइडेड बाई स्पेस प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ एक्सप्लोरेशन सदैस नासा एंड इसरो मोर ओवर यू मैंशन दैट यू नो स्पेस टूरिस्ट के साथ हम साइंटिस्ट भी भेज देंगे तो देन वट इज एग्जैक्टली द डिमार्केशन लाइन बिटवीन स्पेस टूरिज्म एंड स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन अगर हम साइंटिस्ट को भी भेज रहे हैं सो प्लीज एक्सप्लेन स्पेस टूरिज्म एक्चुअली में है क्या वो वट आर दे सपोज टू डू ओवर देर space exploration is very technical yeah. when you see when you saw the abhi latest lunar hamara uh, satellite Chal- landing yeah. that was so technical mujhe aadhi baatein samajh nahi aayi ab main ek common man ke lens se dekhungi i'll be able to you know the people who go there who know nothing as compared to the scientists and researchers wo aake mujhe mere terms mein samjha sakenge uska pr kar sakenge uske liye awareness badhegi uske liye excitement badhegi in turn creating a lot of different things in turn directly indirectly 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 affecting the economy affecting the development affecting the globe itself see but how oh. could affect kar sakte the pr and everything but staying in the present time someone who has been a tourist as you said who will come and you know talk about this but for that that person has to be a very rich person and how many such people do we have and how is he going to come and you know inspire us how are we going to basically relate to that person is it again the that? funding point that you explained yeah we are going times. to the funding point because that is the main concern now isn't there sort of like social disparity or disbalance being created because only the super is like the 1% population is going mm. and they are creating so much at this time mm-hmm. environmental concerns for the rest of the 99% of the Deekho, population right. so coming years wo increase ho ga da can they get less focus on ये दो चीजें होगी तो ऑब्वियसली ब्रॉडर मास विल गेट एक्सेबल उनको मिलेगा ना एक्सेस तो ऑब्वियसली जितनी इंडस्ट्री ग्रो होगी उतना ज्यादा कॉमन पीपल को मिलेगा फंडिंग मिलना चाहिए ठीक है फिर उसके बाद गवर्नमेंट अगर हमें ऊपर ऑर्डिनरी लोगो को भेजना है तो उसके लिए तो गवर्नमेंट को सपोर्ट और सब्सिडीज देनी पड़ेगी ना लेजर एक्टिविटी गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर लेजर एक्टिविटी It's responsible for space exploration mm. in which it has already invested a lot, and I suppose that they should invest even more in it. Mm. Now, so the space tourism uh, can be like space tourism revenue can be reinvested in the space-related research work, and that will uh, help us understand the universe in a better manner. Koi bhi cheez obviously starting se perfect hai, bahut achhi nahi hoti. Aapne bola internet, social media develop hone mein time laga. But the point is just like he mentioned कि उसे develop करना है but उसे हमें किस point of time history में हम उसे start करें develop करना क्यों ना अभी हम बाकी pressing जो global issues हैं हमारे पास हम उन पर वो resources लेंगे यार तो आप कह रहे हो आपकी industry grow करेगी करेगी वो time लेके पर उसको grow करने के लिए जो हम हम लोग human invest करेंगे उसमें वो ही पढ़े good point नहीं है तो कैसे काम चलेगा चलो आज मैंने बोल दिया very difficult field so that way she is very very good point आज okay. मैंने बोल दिया space tourism की industry को develop नहीं करते अब आप बताओ कि आप बाकी education कहाँ से लाओगे हमारी industry develop नहीं करी okay so space where... tourism में पैसे नहीं लगा रहे अब बताओ education कहाँ से ला रहे हो space tourism में पैसे नहीं जा रहे आपकी industry नहीं है तो जब आपकी इंडस्ट्री नहीं है तो गवर्नमेंट भी इन्वेस्ट नहीं कर रही है तो जो इन्वेस्ट का जो पैसा है वो हम इधर खींच लें ओके जब तक वो डेवलप होगा जब तक बिल्कुल पूरी तरह से सस्टेनेबल बनेगा जब तक मासिस तक पहुंच जाएगा अफोर्डेबल एंड एवरीथिंग उस टाइम तक 
फॉर द टाइमिंग जो लोग इसे अफोर्ड कर पा रहे हैं दैट इज़ द सुपर रिच लाइक आई मैंशन बिफोर तब तक तो जो इन्वायरमेंटल हेजार्ड्स जो पोल्यूशन हो रहा है उसका दिस इज जस्ट लाइक कि डेवलप कंट्रीज डेवलप तो हो गई बट उन्होंने जो पोल्यूशन कर दिया तो अब उसको यू नो अंडर डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज को क्लाइमेट चेंज तो उन्हें सहना पड़ रहा है राइट सो ये वही चीज़ हो जाएगी कि बाकी की जो अभी नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट पॉपुलेशन बच रही है जो नहीं जा पा रहे उन पर जो उसके इम्पैक्ट्स आ जाएंगे एंड बाकी चीज़ें एडुकेशन वगैरह भी सो so उसमें भी जितने टाइम लगेगा इसे डेवलप होने में सो दैट इज़ वट वे टॉकिंग अबाउट क्यों ना तब तक वो चीज़ हम बाकी जगह पर रिसोर्सेज हम एलोकेट कर दें ओके एनी बडी एज वॉन्ट्स टू मेक अंक्लूडिंग स्टेटमेंट या your concluding statements uh, yes yeah so no there are going to be loopholes in everything right but we can't just stop doing everything so agar hum sirf negative sides ko focus karenge to se sirf development hinder hogi agar hum negative sides ko balance karte karte positive side ko leke agar hum space tourism ko promote karte hain to usse development indirectly kafi effect hoga initial skepticism har jagah aata hai but aap na ek cheez ignore kar rahe ho ki jo hamari uh, like jo space tourism ke potential benefits hain jaise scientific advance हो गया टेक्निकल इनोवेशन हो गया तो द थिंग इज देर आर टू साइड टू अ कॉइन देर विल बी नेगेटिव देर विल बी पॉजिटिव ऑल वर टाइम टू सेर आर मोर प्रोज देन कॉन्स रिन्यूएबिलिटी पे फोकस करना है डेफिनेटली करना है But But with 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 development, right? And to talk about more like technological advancements, like satellites are helpful in communication. And there was one this Apollo mission, which led to the development of practical fuel cells, which was further used in cleaner cars. So well that was a great show and in the end I would just say that it's a fact that wealthy businesses have already started setting up commercial space tourism services but traveling to some place so unknown like space can take both a physical and psychological toll on us ultimately it's an individual's choice as everybody agreed to so on that note I will take your leave for now but we'll be back soon with some more such hot topics and a lot more young energy like this until then keep watching this space namaskar